one for the uh, JMRMS final activation in step four. Could you verify that the JMRMS join limit database is uh, selected? And Koichi, uh, we've uh, confirmed that the joint limit database is appropriately uh, selected. Okay, thank you. And uh, Koichi, uh, step five is not required. Uh, you can uh, press to uh, step six. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at video down, being downlinked from the International Space Station. This is video of the third spacewalk that took place yesterday. You're watching as uh, Dave Wolf is removing some of the insulation covers. Uh, these covers are on the exposed section of the uh, Cabo. It's the uh, smaller section uh, that is attached to the exposed facility. Uh, today, those um, experiments that uh, Dave Wolf is removing the covers from will be moved from that exposed section onto the exposed facility. Station on safe ground one for JMRMS final activation. Step seven is completed. Copy that. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, you're watching video that is being downlinked from the International Space Station of yesterday's spacewalk. You can see in the foreground, Dave Wolf. Houston on the big loop. Uh, private conference is finished. Thank you very much for setting it up. Houston Endeavor, Air Ground 2 Houston for the last change. Uh, space Ground 1, the big loop, will Good. return uh, Space Ground 2 to normal. <laughs> we'll go, partner. I will certainly deliver that message ASAP. And uh, understand that's 27 that went in, correct? That's correct. And uh, Chunky, if you can uh, confirm, you pulled 25 out. That is uh, verified and confirmed. Thank you, sir.
This is Mission Control Houston. You're watching a video that is being downlinked from the International Space Station. This is video that was taken yesterday by the uh, cameras outside the space station of the third spacewalk. At the top of your screen is Chris Cassidy, and uh, just below the Canada arm is Dave Wolf. Yesterday's third spacewalk was called early uh, after Chris Cassidy was experiencing some uh, some issues with uh, carbon dioxide in his spacesuit. During yesterday's spacewalk, the two did uh, get the insulation covers removed uh, from the uh, experiments and the uh, communication system that is attached to the exposed section of the uh, uh, Japanese uh, Kibo. This uh, exposed section is a um, transportable section that uh, is attached to uh, the exposed facility. It can uh, serve as a platform for experiments and be um, used to attach to the exposed facility and also to uh, be brought home on board the uh, space shuttle in its payload bay. That exposed section looks rather small compared to the International Space Station, uh, but it is actually uh, 16 feet by 13 feet by 7 feet. Uh, 7 feet is the height, and uh, 16 and 13 are the length and width of the uh, exposed section. Just a reminder that coming up at the top of the hour at 8 a.m. Central Time, the Expedition 21 Crew News Conference will be held and televised on NASA television. Participating in that uh, Crew News Conference includes uh, Expedition 21 Flight Engineer and future uh, Expedition 22 Commander Jeff Williams. Along with Williams will be um, Max Sereve. Along with him is uh, spaceflight participant Guy Lali. Birthday. Station Houston, space ground two for the airlock for EVA tool config if you guys are ready. Al, you read my mind. I had the uh, handheld mic in my hand to call you and tell you we were putting it in work. Okay, well, before you get started, I just wanted to tag up with you, make sure you got all these messages. We got message 75 and then 77 through 80, all pertaining to the EVA and tool config. I wonder if you have those uh, printed out yet. Uh, let me check. I only remember seeing 79. I'm not sure if we have 80. The subject of 80? 